Will food pairing negatively impact our fat loss goals? If you've been on social media for a while now, then there's a very high likelihood that you've heard so-called nutrition experts talking to you about how if you're looking to lose weight, then you should avoid eating or combining certain foods together. And I'd imagine that you've wondered if there's any truth to the claims that they're making. So today I wanted to explore the most common claims and statements made in this area of the health and fitness industry and speak to the truth on this matter. Some of these statements include, don't eat fruit and vegetables in the same meal. Another one that I've heard is eat carbohydrates and protein containing foods separately to help aid in digestion. And don't eat high carb or high fat foods in the same meal or you'll increase the amount of fat that your body stores. So these are some of the more common claims being made by these self-proclaimed experts. However, any statement or claim being made in regards to avoidance of eating specific foods or the downsides of food groups being consumed together would also fall into this broad category. So what is the scientific basis for these claims? Well, often these claims are correlated to the findings of research investigating specific mechanisms within the body. So for example, we know that eating a large amount of carbohydrates will cause a spike in insulin. Research has also shown that insulin promotes the storage of fat in the body. So combining these two separate mechanisms the expert claims that a meal high in carbohydrates will spike insulin and this will lead to all the fat that was consumed being stored directly as body fat. Oh my god! Now for other claims such as not eating fruit and vegetables in the same meal, often there is zero scientific basis for the claim and instead they'll use pseudoscience that sounds correct to back up their statements. Now, what I find interesting is that often these statements are made in relation to strategies that you should incorporate into your diet to help you improve digestion and support weight loss. However, if you were actually able to improve digestion and absorption of these said foods, then you would actually be able to take in more calories, which is kind of counterproductive if you need to create a calorie deficit when it comes to fat loss. Now, remember, the burden of the proof for proving these claims and statements is on the so-called expert to demonstrate research that backs up that claim. To date, we have zero data showing that separating food groups or avoiding the pairing of certain foods actually leads to greater weight loss or digestion. Many of these practices actually have roots founded in cultural or religious beliefs, but are not supported by scientific evidence as being inherently harmful. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational videos just like this one. All right, let's get back into it. So you might be wondering, will these dietary approaches make weight loss more difficult? Well, we know from countless studies on weight loss and diet methodologies that the number one indicator for weight loss and weight loss maintenance is dietary adherence not the composition of the diet that you followed. Yet instituting food pairing rules such as these could make your fat loss efforts needlessly more difficult by lowering your overall adherence. And especially when you realize many of these strategies would eliminate most, if not all, of your favorite foods. So what are my takeaways? Food pairing rules and statements like avoid these five foods or any claim in fact that issues, caution or detrimental effects on weight loss are just strategies that these so-called fitness nutrition influencers will use to play on your fears and insecurities. Fortunately, these are not the reasons that you are unable to lose weight. If you ever hear such claims about this, then the best thing that you can do is request evidence and if they're unable to provide any, then consider the statement nonsense. So my question for you all, what are some of the most outrageous claims and statements that you've heard? And are there still any nutrition or exercise related questions that you would like me to help answer? So there you have it folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you still have questions, again, please feel free to drop me a comment below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel, and take a look in the description below for where you can find more information about what we've talked about today and all the details about my other products and services.